What's going on everyone? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to be talking to you about the upcoming new album from the band Malignancy entitled Eugenics. This is scheduled to be released on October the 9th through Willow Tip Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they're based out of Yonkers, New York. And honestly, Malignancy are one of those bands that really cross the fine line between technical death metal and brutal death metal. But only they can make this kind of style work. And for the better part of almost 20 years, they've been really making some really awesome music. Very thought-provoking, technical, destructive, heavy. And they take their time making music. Um, their first two albums I thought were really awesome. Um, their first album, Intrauterine Cannibalism, and their second album, which is what introduced me to their first album and the EPs and stuff between that, uh, Inhuman Grotesqueries. Just a lot of great technicality, awesome lyrics, awesome vocals, just the kind of abstract, obscure kind of vibes that go on throughout the music, twists and turns you don't see coming. Uh, yeah, Malign Malignancy know what they're doing, and they do a really damn good job of doing it. Um... Yeah, let's get on to Eugenics. This is their third full length. It's 11 tracks and it runs around 31 and a half minutes. And this is the thing that you have to understand about Malignancy. This is a band that really makes albums, but yet they do it to where it's short, sweet, and to the point. They don't have to rely on making overly long albums. They don't have to rely on making every single song four or five minutes or even longer than that. They know what their game plan is and they execute it to a letter T. And with that being said, in my view, I think this is probably the best thing this band has ever done. And it's it's been five years worth the wait for this new malignancy record. Um, Guitar-wise... That's one of the things that stands out about this band's technical aspects are the guitars. The guitars sound really nice. I'm loving the intricacy in the riffs. Very heavy, very technical, even to the more heavier, brutal kind of moments. Uh, even to the more calm down type of moments, like on the track Separatists. You think it's about to start off heavy, but it starts very slow and, and almost melodic in a way. But then once that first minute passes by, it just jolts right on back into the heaviness. And the solo work on here is pretty solid and creative. I wish there would have been a little bit more of it. But what you have with the guitars here, it just sounds absolutely fantastic. I love the way the guitar is with this record. The bass, the bass is just absolutely flawless. I love the bass tone on this album. Um, Roger from uh, Mortician... He's been a member of this band. I don't remember what he used to play in this band, but for the last couple of years, he's been handling the bass. And just the way he plays it, it just sounds very awesome. Very good, solid tone, audible throughout the entire record. It almost has that gliding kind of sound that you would normally hear on technical brutal death metal albums. But just the way he plays it, it doesn't sound over the top or trying to outdo the guitar work. It just blends in nicely. It just sounds great, even on the opening track. On the opening track, uh, Type Zero Civilization. Just the bass work on that sound on that song sounds amazing. And the same can be said for Global Systemic Collapse. Really enjoying those tracks. Um, drum wise, Mike Heller is a fantastic drummer. He really he really does have a lot of tricks in his hat, and he delivers them all here. Really good, solid blast beats. Good double bass. Good rolls and fills. Just the way every drum is mic'd. It just sounds fantastic. He really has everything well patterned. It's a very well patterned kind of drum performance. And Mike Heller really does fantastic wonders with the drums on this record. And uh, vocal wise, yeah. The vocalist has a pretty much Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of mentality. Because one minute you hear him break out into these ultra guttural vocals, and then the next minute you hear him break up into these depraved kind of high pitched screams. You don't see them or hear them coming, but they're there, and he makes it work. And the gutturals are just very guttural. <laughs> 
the gutturals are really low. You, you can't really understand what he's saying, but when it gets to the more high-pitched kind of screams, you can hear him a little bit more audibly. And the lyrical content of this record sounds fantastic, because um, if I'm not mistaken, the term eugenics is basically the, improv the improvement of the human race by reproduction, by cloning, some almost Charles Davenport-esque type of material. That's the kind of vibe and feeling you get with the record and the lyrics. They just sound awesome, and I, I'm really digging the way that the that the lyrics just tie in and blend with this record. So, overall, this is probably the best album in the Malignancy lineup. I love everything about this record. It's incredibly well mixed and produced. Fantastic guitar and bass work. The way the drums are patterned and, and executed sound great. And the vocals are fantastic too. So if you're a Malignancy fan, you will enjoy this album. And you'll, you'll be a little bit surprised at first. But still, this is a fantastic record. And really, probably one of the best brutal death metal releases of this year. Maybe even one of the best technical death metal. Maybe it's the best of both worlds. Um, if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I'd have to say Type Zero Civilization, Global Systemic Collapse, uh, uh, Cataclysmic Euphoria, uh, the shortest song on the record, Monstrous Indifference, the best of this band, all bu bundled into a minute and a half, and uh, Cryptobiosis. Some awesome songs. So, again, the album is uh, Eugenics by Malignancy. This is scheduled to be released on October 9th through Willow Tip Records. Buy this wherever you're able to, and this gets a 9 out of 10. Fantastic album from a really solid band. Support Malignancy. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Ho out.